Okay, so in this example here we're going to see what happens with the change in the wavelength as it goes through the two mediums. So we have N2 divided by N1 is equal to wavelength 1 divided by wavelength 2. If I rearrange this, I end up with N1 divided by N2 times by wavelength 1 which is equal to my new wavelength that will be in the plastic. So let's substitute my values. So 1 over 1 1.4 times by 650 nanometers. So that's 10 to the power of minus 9. That's going to equal my wavelength 2 or the wavelength in the plastic. So wavelength 2 is equal to 464 times 10 to the power of minus 9 meters. You must remember that the frequency doesn't change. The evidence for that would be if it's a red light out here, you'll still see red light in the plastic, so the frequency doesn't change. Only the vo velocity, and that is the whole point why it actually undergoes refraction. And we're done. Thank you.